Uber self-driving trucks rumored to be hitting the road in 2017. Facebook shows photos from their Arctic server room. Twitter opens moments to everyone and more. It's Wednesday, September 28th, and this is Crunch Report. I have an apple. Uh, apple pan. It's the middle of the week. I'm here. You're here. Let me get you some tech news. This summer, Uber acquired the self-driving semi-truck company Auto, and now, according to Auto, co-founder Lior Ron, the company will be entering the long-haul freight business in 2017. Auto's trucks are pretty much self-driving, but they still need a driver to mostly guide the trucks to getting on and off freeways. In turn, keeping the drivers more rested and the trip overall safer. Lior and his team are engaged in conversations with potential partners. The company plans to more than double its current fleet of six trucks to kick things off. In a move that nobody I personally know will care about, former smartphone giant BlackBerry has said it will no longer manufacture its own devices. Instead, it intends to outsource hardware making to development partners. The core focus of its business will be on software services from this point on. I seriously don't even remember the last time I saw a BlackBerry. According to CEO John Chen, quitting manufacturing will allow the company to reduce capital requirements and enhance return on invested capital. Facebook dropped some photos today of its Arctic data center in Luleå, Sweden. Facebook has a number of data centers around the world, but this one is set to be the world's most efficient. The naturally cool temperatures of the town that sits just 70 miles south of the Arctic Circle can be used to cool the warm server stacks. This means less electricity has to be devoted to large cooling fans. The servers themselves are powered almost entirely by renewable energy from a dozen nearby electric dams. And despite its low energy usage, all of your videos, pictures, statuses, and profiles at stores take up so much space that engineers have to move around on scooters. Now for a word from our sponsor. Braintree is right there with you, whether it's to solve a problem or proactively find a new opportunity that's right for your business. Visit braintreepayments.com slash crunch report. Drivers suck, but NVIDIA researchers still think they can learn a thing or two from studying humans using deep learning. When we're not cutting people off and double parking, we can actually provide a rather sophisticated example for how self-driving cars might navigate driving challenges like blind corners and lanes with missing markers. Machine learning and AI is at the core of every autonomous car project, but the difference with NVIDIA's work is that the training set was focused on real-world human driving data. So far, efforts seem successful as the car has been able to navigate a diverse set of road conditions without input from traditional car manufacturers. Twitter today says that it's opening up the Moments platform so anyone can create their own stories using tweets and photos uploaded to the service. To create your own moment, you'll click into the new Moments tab on your profile. Here, you'll find a collection of the moments you've already created alongside a button to create a new one. The tool lets you set a cover using photos or videos from tweets or an image of your choosing. Afterwards, you can find tweets to add in a variety of ways. If you use moments, this comes in handy. So now, you can make your own. That's the report for today. I'm Tito Hamzy. Crunch Report airs every week at 7 p.m. Eastern, 4 p.m. Pacific on techcrunch.com. You can also find us on iTunes and on YouTube. Thank you for being with us today. See you tomorrow.